Hello everybody, my name is Walter and welcome to an, a redirect reaction for you. This is a mixed uh, thing right here. This is a redirect reaction, but I will be doing everything in between. First, DVD Universe Season 5, Episodes 19 to 22. Okay, so uh, the first episode was just about explaining, um, you know, Pearl's, or rather, Pink Diamond's decision to be Rose Quartz and it technically is one of those things where you get something uh, and then you do fall in love with it. It's very much the whole alien kind of deal where they get uh, uh, something that they thought like they've been indoctrinated to not like it but as soon as they, they see the scenery, they see the people, they see the lives, they see the livelihoods, they they start to feel like hmm, maybe what I thought was wrong maybe wasn't wrong at all and then you know the, the their thought processes change and they want to see new things they want to experience new things and all of that so that is a very interesting thing on its own and then arc to um, Garnet or rather now Sapphire and um, um, sorry Sapphire and Ruby taking it uh, the first episode was Sapphire taking it and then the second episode was um, Ruby accepting that you know she wanted to be alone and I've seen a lot of people who uh, who were in a you know deeply loving relationship and had a you know breakup like this but you know the, the love is so strong that people you know can't see them not being a couple but you know it is one of those things where I am uh, kind of like uh, Greg in that I do want to see them I do want to see them individually grow as well and you know it is uh, technically a mini breakup but you know you know you know that um, they cannot be separated anymore so it's kind of that codependent thing but also you know sometimes it's it is seen as healthy sometimes it's seen as unhealthy for me it's a bit unhealthy because um, uh, you know you you shouldn't be fully reliant on the other person like Ruby said you know she wanted to do stuff on her own and that's very much what I say like if you're if you're always uh, reliant on someone else then you'll forget to think of your own self and when you are outside of that relationship and you are you are doing it on your own um, I think that is in itself very much um, a thing where we shouldn't spur on even if we think the 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 couple is the best we shouldn't spur them on into uh being a couple if if it's not fully the best thing but at the same time you want what's best for them so you know the best thing to do is to go with their intention or their intuition uh, and I don't fully think that Steven in itself you know really spurred it on I think that you know the underlying statement is that he did want what's best for them whilst ha also having a bias towards the couple but he did it in, in a more of the way w w which I talked about initially where you know you kind of spur it on but I think he's also a kid, so he doesn't understand fully the the um, emotions of it all, or or the repercussions of a, f a proper relationship or proper relationship dynamic. But again, you know, you have the flip side of saying, well, you know, if they are really in love with each other, who are we to say? And to that, I say, yeah, fuck me. So. Again, it is what it is, and I, I do fully support it, but again, I, I always say, like, do always take those lessons when you're outside of that relationship, and, and make it so that you are always growing in itself, if that makes sense. Um, and then the next episode was basically them get back together. Uh, you know, and uh, Ruby proposing marriage, and uh, you know those kind of things. Uh, and for me, I, I really thought uh, that um, you know the amethyst one was a bit short-sighted, which is technically the second episode. I'm, I'm out of order here, but uh, yeah, the amethyst uh, <coughs> the amethyst one is much more 
dived into but like also in an amethyst way because she's like you know i don't want to talk about my feelings because i care about you you know and it it's kind of unhealthy as well but you know it is understandable you know i think for me in itself uh i do think amethyst wanted to say you know what it's in the past you know I, i've got to let that stuff go and uh, that's very healthy from uh from a very good perspective it's it's uh even though steven wanted to say you know please just you know talk it out and everything but he understood that you know it is her decision to say you know what forget all that i i don't want to think about it anymore I, i accept it i accept that it's part of my life now i don't care but i care about my friend so i think that's a v- very you know my thing to do as well like i think you know, even though i did go through a lot of stuff like looking back on it now i say that you know yes i did i did have to go through that stuff to get to this place to better place and i and i always envisioned it i would say you know i always said to myself i will I will get there and, and man when I get there I'm gonna be so happy and I did so you know it's one of those things you know it's a self motivation thing it's a it's a kind of a you know a fight instinct in ourselves as well so there you go I I I thought that was really goofy but still in a way it is very much something important that uh, we need to hear or or see Uh, and then the next one was um, uh, the bismuth part. Uh, there was two bismuth parts um, in the ending. Uh, I, I mean, episode twenty-two on its own. Sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, you know, it was twenty-one and twenty-two. So yeah, um, uh, Stephen unbubbled the bismuth, and you know, we go back and forth with the whole story arc now um, because it is a clear, you know aftermath of the whole pink diamond thing and it's the wedding uh, it's the planning of the wedding of um, Garnet or you know Sapphire and Ruby um, so yeah, it is one of those things where it is uh, an old friend um, who probably messed things up with the with the couple so to say or, or just the family dynamic uh, maybe uh, another like long lost uncle or long lost auntie or something like that so you know had a falling out with the the mother you know and, and never really came back into the family and then you know one day you know the, uh, there was an invitation by someone else to, to come to a certain event and it's one of those things where you know that they've done something uh, or, or you know something that wasn't you know fair to, to, to that person who threw them out or something like that and then you know but you know you do miss them you do you do have so many fond memories of them that you know you come back and say you know what that's all in the past now just like the amethyst one and you come back and you say you know what you know just for, forget it and you know we're all we're all together now we're all friends again we're all family again so i, I definitely think that rhetoric is is very very interesting and Uh, Cartoon Network played like a mini trailer uh, during the end of this 20 second episode that we watched together as well Uh, and I definitely definitely think that it would be very very exciting to see the next few episodes because I thought they were going to play for more time with uh, more filler episodes of this as well but again you know uh, with Cartoon Network ticking around Steven Universe I don't think Rebecca even has the time to tick around anymore so um the next few episodes is going to be more about the uh, yellow diamond and the blue diamond coming and invading earth again so we'll definitely see the outcome of that and we'll see the corrupted gems back again we did see a corrupted gem back uh and it was really really uh cool to see that again but also scary because now bismuth understands what happened and all of that so um yeah it'd be exciting to see what happens next man and uh I hope you guys enjoyed the everything in between. I'm almost reaching my time here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please go and watch my full reactions in my dailymotion.com uh, slash Walter dash. Um, uh, it's all small uh, on my daily motion. Uh, if you guys don't want to, I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to upload anything to YouTube anymore because 
copyright is too harsh on anyone so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys very very soon i miss i miss doing youtube so i will definitely be back uh see you guys there